I'm Robert Garcia. I am a supervisor at Machine Shop. So my motives to going plant-based are generally health reasons. Uh, I did have to have a surgery years ago to get my gallbladder taken out, and that's when I started doing research on different foods and how certain foods will affect your body. I was actually plant-based for a while then, and due to life circumstances, I kind of got away from it. And that's also when I began cycling to lose a bunch of weight. So I got into cycling then, wasn't plant-based initially, but kind of graduated to that. And recently moved out here where I took a job and started kind of flirting around with the bicycle again and uh, immediately thought, just with the way things are going, the benefits I got last time, you know, as far as recovery time is way less. This is how I feel when I'm out on the bike. I feel lighter, I don't feel all bloated, you know, bogged down. So how long have you been plant-based? I would say a little over a year. Got it. Pretty much there, probably 95%. <laughs> transition as far as taking meat out completely mm -hmm. but then it was the dairy that kept me right it was that was the hardest part mm -hmm. and to be 100% honest I don't always succeed at that but when I can buy an alternative I will yeah the ones that taste the best are quite expensive <laughs> yeah no absolutely and so, it's not it's not easily um, accessible right you know and it's, it can be very hard to maintain and dairy is just addictive right. you know in general and like yeah. the premise of whole harvest is, to, is progress not perfection right and yeah and and with and with the like your meal is already complete. I don't have to like try to add anything to it. I don't need to add cheese to it. I don't need to right. you know, find a substitute to add to it because it's already complete enough. By replacing one meal a day, we know we're making a difference. Right. Okay, and so what about your family? Where are they at in this journey? With me having this stuff around, I am able to get them to try it. My youngest daughter will eat it. She's been seeing me eat this way since she was about two. And she would always come up and want to like try whatever I'm eating. So anytime I'm eating the whole harvest meal, she'll also come up and want to try that. And she'll eat all. She'll eat them just like I will. That's really cool. Um, the other ones do try them, but they're, you know. Right. Maybe, maybe in time. Right, yeah. yeah. So do you eat a separate dinner from them? Or do you guys have, like... Yeah, I usually come home after work and just put one of these up. Got it. Okay. And then I'm all set, which is what makes it so convenient. I had gotten invited to the city market where you guys were at and went and tried one of those meals and I was like, oh my God, like where were you guys at 10 years ago when I was trying it on my own and making meals that were just bland? It was nice to get the package. And then I got to see the shop where I saw you guys are making it and then packaging it in the package, but it's not like some big plan. And so I felt comfortable with it. I was like, man, that's like having somebody make, come to your house and make it for you. Right. You just gotta take it home and heat it up. So I really did like that. It tasted good, lots of variety. In my experience, just me being busy as I am, a lot of my stuff was I eat the same thing every day for months. Just helped me get away from that. Mm -hmm. I really like it. That's why I enjoy it. Favorite meal? Awesome. <laughs> okay, so if someone was struggling to make the decision to switch to plant-based, what piece of advice would you give them? That the only peer, the only person keeping score is himself. I'll tell you, like when I first like I was making the transition, I was like I would eat some, I would eat meat, and then I'd be like, oh, man. I should do that. And I picture the health consequences later. Because if you look at like the main causes of death, it's it's heart disease. And that translates to diet. In my opinion, I'm no doctor, but just from what I see mm -hmm. and what I hear, and I got family who are diabetic, I know that if I continue and I follow that same path, like I already know the outcome. I think about that when I go to you know, when it's time to eat. I try to remember those things. And if I, do, if I don't do it right that day, there's tomorrow. You know, and then over time, they say 30, 30 days, we can create new habits. And that's kind of how it starts for me. 